Hi friends, I'm Gretchen Paul Hamish Jensen and thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about the art of receiving. The art of receiving, what does that mean? Well, you know, when you manifest, when you pray, whatever you want to call it, you're asking. And oftentimes we, we, we feel like we need to keep asking. We need to just keep asking like it's almost like are we are we reminding God or whoever you pray to like hey just in case you didn't hear me 10 minutes ago I just need to make sure we got we're on the same page here um, but the art of receiving is you know if you close your eyes and imagined that everything that you've ever asked for is right there like as soon as you open your eyes it's all right there it is that close it is so close to you that it's just a blink away. So in order to receive what we've asked for, we have to be in the receiving mode. We have to be willing and ready to receive what we've asked for. Sometimes it's super simple to kind of go through the motions, you know, okay, I need more money. I don't have enough money. Please send me more money. Thank you. And then we go about our day and we're like reminded how many things are reminding us that we don't have enough money or, you know, maybe it's a relationship that we want a better relationship. We want a better feeling or maybe it's a better job or maybe it's a healthier body, whatever that is. You have to be able to stay in a position where you are allowing it to happen because ultimately y'all, we don't have control over when, how, and where things are gonna to come to us. That's the beauty of having a blessing come. It comes at the right time and in the right way. And so we have to always find ourselves in the receiving mode, in the, in the, the space of being ready to receive it. So if you picture your heart like two French doors, okay, two French doors, and you open those doors, you open your heart, and you say, I want the holy light to come into my heart. I want it to flood into my heart, and I want it to move down to my solar plexus. I want it to move down to my root chakra, all of my organs and my stomach area. I want it to go to my hips, my thighs, my knees, my feet, my calves, my feet, my toes. Bring it back up. I want it to go up into my chest cavity, my shoulders, my arms, my hands, my fingers. Bring it back up. I want it to flow through my neck, into my mouth, behind my eyes, my ears, and the top of my head. From top to bottom, bottom to top, I am now filled with the spirit of light. You will feel it. Picture, um, picture energy flowing in a circle, top to bottom, bottom to top, top to bottom, bottom to top, okay? And so when you are feeling that and you are encompassed and engulfed with that spirit, then you say, I am now ready to receive. I am now ready to receive what you wish to give to me. I am in a place that I am in the receiving mode. I welcome what you want to give to me. I welcome my abundance. I welcome my health. I welcome my good relationships. I welcome my new home, my job, whatever it is, whatever it is that you want. You say at that moment, when you feel that, I welcome you. You could even throw your arms up and out and say, come, you're welcome. The doors are open, please come, right? Remember, closed eyes, just beyond that closed eye portion is everything that you want. Now you have to allow it in. Sometimes it's easy to be in a space where we think it's only going to come this way or it's going to come through this person or this is how I think it should come. This is how I believe it's going to come. This is how I want it to come, but it's probably not going to come that way. We get in the way and we sometimes think we're God. We think that we, we need to dictate how it's all going to come. Say out loud, surprise and delight me. Bring me what I've asked for on my path of least resistance and in the most wonderful, beautiful way. Surprise and delight me. And then go about your day and look for synchronicities. 
I was just outside um, a little bit ago and I was just kind of taken in the morning and um, I looked over at my hummingbird, theater, my hummingbird feeder and I said, before I go inside, I'd like to see a hummingbird. And I just left it at that. And then right down in front of me flew this hummingbird and went right to the feeder. When you're in the receiving mode, things come quickly and they are fun. They are fun. That's why I play this game every day with the universe. Show me. I always, I always love like, show me a money truck. You know, those money trucks that drive around and pick up cash and stuff from different businesses. And it's just so fun because I'll just be in my own little world and I'll just happen to look over and there's one at a light or there's one at a shopping center. And I always think, thank you. Thanks for playing with me. Show me, oh my gosh, it could be anything. Show me a walrus. And before you know it, you're walking down the sidewalk and you see a little girl with a t-shirt on, there's a walrus on it. It's just a way to play that connection game of, am I in the receiving mode? Am I asking and then allowing? Am I asking and then am I ready to have it come to me? Many times we ask and then we get busy with life or we doubt or we have, you know, whatever these feelings are. And it's probably right there. It's probably right there, but we keep turning away. We keep going the other direction and we miss out. And it's not that we're not worthy. It's not that it, we're not able to receive it or we're not able to get that blessing. It's that we're not accepting it. We're not allowing that part of receiving to happen. So throughout your day to day, remind yourself, my heart is an open door. I open it up and I welcome you in. Um, there's, a, there's a gal that I listen to and she always says, it's the ABCs, always be connected. And so you always want to be connected to who you're praying to. You know, not just a morning and a nighttime thing, but at all times. Whether you're saying a prayer, you're giving thanks, or you're singing a song, always be connected because that is how you get guidance. When you're connected, your eyes are open and you see what's right there. You see what's right there. You feel it. You're not dodging it because you've gotten out of your own way. Always be connected. Try that today. Try that today. Try, try seeing your day through the eyes of, of heart doors wide open. Try seeing what comes to you. Try playing the game. Ask for something. Ask for something and then wait and see how it comes to you. And when it does, give thanks and then ask again for something else. Make it be a continuous, continuous game that you constantly play because it's all there waiting to, to come to us. It's waiting there. Remember, close your eyes. It's right there. Open your eyes. You want to see it. Thanks for being here, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.